So a while back, I came across a video with Ed Sheeran, and he was talking about how whenever you first start off doing music, you want to have like the bad, um, you want to you know, like go ahead and have as many bad live gigs as you can, so you go ahead and get it out of your system. And whenever I heard that, I, I thought it was pretty cool because you're pretty much giving it your all. And whatever mistakes you make, you learn from them. So if you make a lot of mistakes, then you learn a lot. And if you do that as much as you can, then you're improving. And it, it just, it's a win-win because you're, you're learning how to lose. And I think that's the biggest thing too because if, if you learn how to lose, then instead of focusing on the negative aspect of losing, which is... You feel, you feel dumb. You feel like you can't do it. Your self-esteem is dropped. Instead of focusing on that part, you focus more on, okay, how can I get better? Maybe I could watch a video. Maybe I, there's somebody I know who can give me some tips on how to fix this. So for me, whether it's the manga or trying something new with YouTube <laughs> Or trying something that I saw from a YouTube video and trying to do something new with that. I've kind of just been, my mindset has been, how can I fail as fast as I can and learn as much as I can? And recently I feel like I've kind of overwhelmed my little, <laughs> my little peanut brain. Because I feel like there's like so many... Like, just with YouTube alone, like, there's a lot of YouTube creators who do a lot of cool stuff with videos. And I feel like I want to try so many things in one video. And I end up getting, like, overwhelmed because my brain, it tends to be, like, really, really random. And when it comes to, like, creativity, it's really good. But whenever it comes to, like, focusing down and try to focus on one thing, it is very very bad because whenever I'm halfway working through something whether it's like something with a video my mind is constantly like what if I try this what if I do this instead of following through with that one thing I decide to do so it's kind of been a challenge for me to to just tell myself to take it easy whatever idea I wanted to do just focus on that and then after I do that I can try another thing. So I've just, my mindset has really been like, just trying to fail as fast as possible because of, you know, like with Ed Sheeran, if I can just get all that out of my system, then I can get to a place to where I kind of have like my own way of doing videos or making manga. Because with a lot of artists, like manga artists, the styles that they have, they get that because they get to that point because they spend so many years just taking stuff from other creatives that that they um that they're a fan of. And like, you know, for example, like with the uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, whenever it was first like really starting to get big because of, like the anime, a lot of people were saying that um Akutami was stealing from from Bleach, stealing from Yu Yu Hakusho, this and that. And the thing is, like, every artist does that. The creator of Yu Yu Hakusho, Togashi, in the anime, at the very end of Yu Yu Hakusho, there's a thing where whenever Yusuke's walking by, a demon pulls up, like, one of them, like, raider guns. And, not a raider gun, but, like, it can show, like, a power level. And... I mean, you already know instantly that that's from like Dragon Ball Z. And whenever the guy was using the thing to check um, Yusuke's power level, it exploded. So, you know, whenever that meme with Vegeta and he says like, his power level is blah, blah, and then explodes. So Togashi got that from Dragon Ball Z. And every artist does it. So with me, I've been applying that with pretty much everything so when it comes to youtube videos the manga manga characters the story the power system 
So I've just been telling myself not to, not to overthink on the ideas. So I never have the ideas. I really, that's whenever I start to overthink because then it's weird. I, I'm pretty sure I'm explaining it really weird. And it's easy for me to get like a lot of ideas, but it's hard for me to choose one and stick with that because whenever I'm working on that, whenever, whether it's like, uh, I'm applying that to a character or a story or whatever. Whenever I'm halfway there, I say, what if, you know, what if I do this? What if I do that? And I think it's good, like in the brainstorming process. But whenever I'm in the the process of actually like working on something, I feel like that's where I kind of have to maybe get like, maybe make a credit document in, in Google Drive and just throw that in there, like ran, random ideas that I got. So whenever I go back, maybe I start working on another panel or a new video, and I can just tell myself to just go there. That way, whenever I'm working on the process, I can do work on a process. Whenever I'm in the brainstorming brainstorming phase, I can go through there and look at all the ideas I've had. And just me talking about it now, I realize that's, probably the best thing I should do because just like the past few weeks I've just been stressing myself out because I'll get all these ideas and then whenever I choose one I just I just get super excited and I'm just like what if I do this what if, what if I do that and I end up spending a lot of time brainstorming instead of actually actually executing what I wanted to do and the bad thing about that is that i I'm really not getting that much done because I've just been brainstorming a lot with like YouTube videos and I actually have a lot of fun doing or creating YouTube videos. The only thing is it's really, really time consuming and if I spend a lot of time on YouTube, then that means less time for the manga, which kind of ruins the purpose of making a manga. So I've kind of just been telling myself, like, what's the best way to to make YouTube videos, to continue making the manga? And, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to, like, make this video to kind of, it was more for me to just, like, brainstorm and just, like, I guess not not like a rant, but like I guess just get out get it out of my system and just making this video, I realized that I think it's just best to go ahead and make a document and drive and just call it brainstorming ideas, random ideas or something like that. And whenever I get uh, a random idea while working on something, I can just put it in there. And then, and then just tell myself whenever I get done with this one thing I'm working on, I can I can go back to that document and just look at all the ideas I have and then pull from that, execute on whatever idea I choose on, and then I can. And then once I finish that thing, and then find, and then I can, like going back to with with Ed Sheeran was saying, is, see if it works. If it doesn't work, and if, and if I fail at it. Then I can just figure out like what can I do to make it better, and then go back to the brainstorming brainstorming ideas. So I think that's just like the best thing to to do, and I'm pretty sure at some like like my like this video probably seems like it's all over the place, but it it pretty much just funnels down to how fast can I fail, so I can improve and learn as much as I can so I can get to a point to where I I like what I'm putting out and it becomes like my own thing like my own style so that's where I was just in a way I was kind of just speaking to myself so I think I think that'll help that way to where I don't overthink as much and I can just get 
finish chapter two. Because, I mean, I just, I think just failing quicker and a lot more, I can get a better idea on what I want to do with the manga, the art style, and I just overthink for the little things.